bought my mini drill press 23 years ago. Paid about 30 bucks for it. I needed a drill press to do one project. I wound up making a grand on that project, so I figured even if the drill press didn't last, but for that one project, it still would have paid for itself. But here it is, 23 years later, it's still going strong. One problem I had with it is the ring that holds the depth gauge, depth stop, was broken. It was broken when I first got it. I recently glued it back together and installed it because I needed it for a project. I figured I'd wind up breaking it again. And sure enough, that's what happened. I forgot to reset the stop and I went to drill a full depth hole and popped it back in half. So I decided I'm gonna to try to mill one out of aluminum on my CNC engraver. Made this prototype to make sure it would fit and it, it kicked loose prematurely when I was milling it and the bit chewed up this corner of it. But it lets me see what I need to. Fits on there just right. So I believe it'll work if I can get this aluminum mill. I got enough for two attempts. Uh, I have no idea what I'm doing. I've never milled aluminum. I've done some research uh, looking up spindle speeds and feed rates and plunge depths. And I've got a starting point. So we'll see if it gets me through to the end or if it completely fries out. After doing a successful test on wood, I decided to go ahead and run my file on the aluminum, which was a mistake because my feed rate was too fast and my plunge depth was too deep. The bit was flexing and cutting away part of what I needed. So I went back and made up a test file, this little square right here, with a much slower feed rate and a more shallow plunge depth and it came out just right. Luckily my aluminum is thick enough that I can just pick up where I left off and go ahead and cut through it and then I'll just have to polish away or grind away anything that's left that's too thick. I only cut about two millimeters deep and my aluminum is a half inch thick and I only need my finished piece to be three eighths of an inch thick. So I drilled down into the piece for my touch off so I can bring the spindle back up and touch off of the exact same spot and basically just pick up where I left off. I saw a guy milling aluminum aircraft parts on the same CNC machine that I've got. He had uh, modified his electronics and I believe put a more hefty spindle on his unit because since he's making aircraft parts he's having to cut a lot of aluminum. This is the only thing that I'm ever planning to cut out of aluminum so I believe with the setup the way it is, I can get this done. I'll put a link to his channel. It's pretty interesting because he was making his own plane, which seems pretty cool to me, especially using a little CNC engraver to do it. Hey, I got the file loaded, machine home and touched off. I'm getting ready to fire up the spindle and let it roll. Well, it took a few minutes to get there, but it's finally down past the point where I did my test and it's making full width cut. 
Like it's still in the sun. Getting close to the halfway point. Okay, I'll pause the machine and stop the spindle so I can take a measurement. I'm measuring that I'm 12 and a half millimeters deep. The thickness of my stock looks like 12 and a half millimeters. Still haven't quite broken through. Um, looking at my display, I think I've only got one more pass in the file. All right, I'm gonna fire it up and let it roll and see if it breaks through this time. Process. Be glad you didn't have to sit through the whole thing. Well, there's the piece. Got a little bit of flash I need to cut off there. Okay, I located another bit. Uh, it's been recently resharpened. I don't know if it's any better than the one I was using, but I'm gonna give this a try. Yeah, there we go. So that's all it was, just a dull bit. All that trouble for nothing. Well, all right, I'm gonna set up my vise and get this thing flipped up to drill the other hole. All right, it's amazing what a sharp bit can do. Yeah, yeah, nice little hole all the way through. Let's see, it'll be going through this way. It'll be from a lock and bolt. All right, I drilled a little countersink in the side where the where the gauge screw is going. Um, in order to let the bolt come all the way through since this aluminum is a little bit thicker than the original I believe it'll work without having to grind off this top part so I'll probably just leave it alright I'm gonna get ready and knock my chuck off and see if this thing will actually fit Hopefully I can do this without dropping the chuck into the floor. Hey, it fits. What do you know? I had 
two washrooms. Oh, there we go. Tighten that. All right, all we got left to do now is reseat the chuck. nicer I don't think this thing is going to be breaking anytime soon sometimes metal is just way better than plastic all right that's it thanks for watching